Hutch Fernandez in Sunnyside, Queens, ready to play Six Feet, Six Questions with comedian Tim Warner. Tim, are you ready? Yes, sir, I'm ready to go. You ready to go? All right, Tim, first yes. question. Yes. Dude, we're in a pandemic. We're about, what, three, four months in? We're on the backside, the numbers are down. How you been doing mentally, physically? Oh, I'm great. I'm great. It's been, uh, it's been a good season. It's been a good season one of COVID-19. I can't wait for COVID-20 to come out this fall. Do you think it's gonna end and when will it end? You have a prediction? Never. Never. The new normal is just another transition in life. Just like no internet to the internet. So, uh, you know, we're just gonna transition. Life's gonna be different. It always is. Life always changes. Uh, so yeah, it never ends until you're dead, and then who knows if it even fucking ends then. Speaking of changes, yes, sir. What has has anything changed in your life? What what's, what was directly oh, wow. affected? What has changed since this uh, COVID pandemic lockdown? You're making me want to talk like that. Uh, perspective, focus, without a doubt, perspective and focus. Uh, the bullseye is bigger now in my eyes that would be that would be the biggest change with everything in the world I look at everything so my my pupils are huge perspective without a doubt how do you think comedy is gonna change will it change do you think it'll change when's it coming back mm. uh, it never left if you think comedy is dead then it is Comedy is whatever you think it is. Uh, comedy is the only art form that really hasn't evolved in what gestures used to stand in front of a brick wall and roast kings, right? And now you go to the comedy cellar or something, you got a comic in front of fucking a brick wall talking to fucking audiences. The presentation of, of stand up has not evolved. Uh, throughout time and I think maybe the presentation is going to change I think maybe one of the next kind of maybe evolutions of comedy in a way uh, I think authenticity I think is going to be a huge thing in my opinion I don't think people are going to necessarily want a comic who goes up and kind of does jokes and makes them feel good for the moment type of shit I think um, I think they're going to want someone who if that's you, then do it. They want the person on stage and the person off stage. And I think with things like podcasts and, and, and the exposure that you can put out into the universe and give people the opportunity to, to be transparent, vulnerable, authentic, uh, I think, again, it's the Wild West. And again, comedy didn't leave. Um, so there is no, is it back? Uh, it was just people's perception, and it took it took Dave Chappelle doing eight minutes and forty seconds, forty six seconds, to make some people who fucking lost belief to kind of clear. Uh, and now they think there's a heartbeat in comedy, but that, again, it's all down to the individual. Um, and uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know if I answered the question, but yeah, it's going to change. You got to be authentic. I think you can cut out the middleman more. Um, and I think, again, I've been saying it for the last year or so. I can only speak for myself. We're no longer comedians. We're fucking LLCs. I'm an LLC. There's a lot to me. Comedy is part of me. Wow, that's fucking deep. Love it. You're a sports fan. I see the jersey on. Yes, sir. Sports coming back. You look forward to it? Or are we going to just... just like, and I'm a big NBA fan, dude. I hope they, I hope they don't come back to protest. I hope they don't have the season this year in protest, and they use that time to whatever out voice, get out there, and, and 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 make things known. So when they start the season up again, but who gives a fuck? At the end of the day, who gives a shit? And I know it's ironic for me to say that because like I'm an entertainer or whatever else, but like. I don't know. Have you watched? Have you tried to watch the fucking Today Show, like during the pandemic, and like, like 
Dude, I was watching like today, like those morning type things, like when there was the quote unquote riots during the protests and and and, and there were COVID, and they're sitting there doing shit like, well, do your shoes match your purse? Well, we've got ways, seven ways for you to cook a better lasagna. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about with all this shit going on? Are you kidding me? Even now, you've got cops in stand down. You got goddamn chaz in New York City, dude. You've got fucking shootings happen all over the place. You've got people angry at people over masks or who they're gonna vote for or not vote or who they say they're gonna or whatever else. Please. Speaking of voting, how do you, last question, how do you think the pandemic's gonna affect the election? Gives a shit, who gives a shit? Right, am I wrong with that? But it's kind of like, oh, LeBron gets another championship. Good, he's the GOAT now. whoop de do Who gives a shit? Sorry, it's just, it's one thing I've been thinking a lot. Like, who cares? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Tim Warner, what's, the one oh, and the, the only. What was the question? No, what was the last Our question? Our last question was the election. How's the pandemic going to affect oh. the election? Oh, that's interesting. Um, that's interesting. We'll see, I guess, we'll know a better answer when uh, we'll see how they handle the convention. Right, the Democrat Republican conventions are coming. Well, we know what Trump's gonna do. He's gonna have. He's gonna try to get a fucking million man march <laughs> and bring everyone out without masks. Biden. I don't know what the Democrats are gonna do with their convention. If they're gonna have like some online convention meeting where everyone can log in and watch the convention from the privacy of their own rooms, where all the delegates are in their own. I don't know. But when we see how they handle that, see where things are, then we'll see how. The election, whatever, that delusion of voting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that soap opera goes. Guys, Tim Warner, <laughs> the one and only Tim Warner with his coffee cup. I'm Pudge Fernandez. Oh. We're, in, we're in Sunnyside, Queens. Stay tuned for another episode. You want to see past episodes? Go to my YouTube channel, Hot Pudge Sunday. Peace.